out of all the things you do in life, there's that one minute that you feel like you're the most important thing in the world because everybody's watching you. Uh, the connection between the two of you is palpable. I mean, we feel it. It requires no effort for us. It, it's like we're invited in. I don't recall being swept not away by, but with characters before. So how Aww. long have you known each other? <laughs> We kind of met for the first time doing this movie. I mean, we had we had met 20 years ago. I think we did a panel together at the, uh, for a film festival or something. I've been a fan of Clifton's work for a long time. I think he's just, you know, really one of the great actors of my generation. And yes. this, this role was written for him by these filmmakers who loved him, having worked with him before. So... So I knew he was doing it, coming into it, and um, wanted to, you know, be a part of it for that reason, uh, as well as some other reasons. And then we just had fun. You know, Clifton's a guy who kind of works, you know, deeply, both in character and story. You know, so I mean, some actors get so into the that that the, that they lose track of the story. Clifton has this great balance, and we just we just had a great time. You've done some damage. You need to get yourself to a doctor. You are a doctor. I'm a horse doctor. Natural closeness, not a, not a, nothing effortful in it. It was just astonishing to me. Um, Clifton, what do you say about that? Uh, I was very lucky to have a, a deep actress <laughs> um, like Molly. So it, it's uh, after all the work I had done, you know, the last thing you want is to have uh, some actor or actress come in and just phone it in and, and Molly Parker is anything but that. <laughs> so when she came in, you know, there's this giant void of, I don't know what actress is gonna fit, fill this role and, and fill it to the, to the point of, of, of being excited to explore, excited to try things, excited to talk about different stuff. And um, Molly's process was very, uh, it, it just synced up with my own. So we I'll instantly had it. ideas that, that was also effortless. Yeah. Um, it makes it more fun. And, so, and, you know, you just bond. Yeah, and, and, and rare, you know? I mean, we, we, well, rare that you get to do something where it's set up in such a way that you can create that intimacy. Um, this film was shot on a live working track. It intentionally had a tiny crew of about 10 people. So oh you felt like you had the agency, you know, Clifton and I did our own hair and makeup. And so we kind of had this, this sort of ad hoc hair and makeup room that was sort of at the top of the old, the old club where people would go and, <laughs> and bet that's now empty. And so we had these sort of, before we go out to do the scenes, like we'd have, you know, an hour there together, just getting ready. It's like doing a play. It was just, Beautiful. We've come this far together, right? Yeah. You, can, you can just have a little cookie. I mean, just a damn. <laughs> Clifton, you, here you are showing us uh, not only the dangers of being a, a jockey, uh, the, uh, the physical dangers, but giving us a psychological map and the connection with horses and everything. Was any of this in your wheelhouse before this? Um, yes, a lot of it was uh, working with horses on Westworld um, and multiple shows before. And also coming from a, a background, you know, my grandfather was a contract player for John Wayne. So I grew up <laughs> watching the, the John Ford, Howard Hawks, the murder wow. that he did. Um, so horses were very much a part of our family in a, in a way, even though we don't own horses, it was uh, something that was often part of conversations. Fantastic. Love this film so much. Mm. Congratulations, both of you. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Anne. Thanks. Nice talking to you. I might be a little more shaped than what I thought. I saw this photo and I thought, what if I could be somebody like that? I'm sure you caught wind of my winnings and came to some conclusion, but you know by the time your earnings get carved up, there's not a whole lot left for the jockey. There ain't no better world. There's just this one.